In this brief video, we'll see how MacroView DMF makes it easy to annotate PDFs that are already stored in SharePoint. We're working in Microsoft Outlook. MacroView DMF has been installed, which is why we are seeing the MacroView pane on the right side of the Outlook window, displaying the tree of all areas in SharePoint for which we've got permission. If we click in this particular document library, we'll see that there are a number of files already stored, including this PDF. We've now got a formatted preview of that PDF. If we right click it and open, MacroView DMF will retrieve it from SharePoint and open it in the relevant application, which of course is Adobe Reader. I can now use the Adobe Annotate command to insert some annotations, a great case study, for example, uh, into that PDF. And now if I'm finished, I can hit File, Save to SharePoint. MacroView DMF remembers the area from which the PDF was opened. Uh, here it is again. And uh, we can now uh, save it back without changing its name. In which case, MacroView DMF will prompt us as to whether we wish to create a new major or minor version. Let's create a new major version with this comment. DMF will then confirm that the metadata that already exists on that PDF is still current. Uh, we, could we could modify that if we wished. The PDF is now reloaded to the same area in SharePoint, but as version 2.0. If we close Adobe Reader and go back into Outlook and right click on our uh, modified PDF and choose version history, we can see the new version that's been created while we we're working in Adobe Reader together with our uh, comment for the new version. We also see the annotation appearing in the preview of that PDF that is displayed by MacroView DMF. Use these details for more information about MacroView solutions for managing documents and emails in SharePoint.